Architecture must change. We must develop products or must use products that are natural and sustainable. You know, we've got to get away from oil-based products, paints and coatings that are, that are made from polymers and, and other oil-based ingredients, and back to natural mineral materials. Lime has an incredibly long history. It's been used since ancient Egyptian and Roman times. It was written extensively about by Vitruvius, one of the great architects of ancient Rome, um, and is a, a, is a material that has um, great longevity. I mean, it, the buildings in Rome have been there for more than 2,000 years, and they still stand the test of time today. When we were developing a clay lime plaster, it, it was very important to obviously achieve a material that had um, zero emissions for excellent indoor air quality, that used natural mineral materials that were readily available, and to formulate a material that had longevity. It's no good making something that has a very low carbon footprint, but if it, because if it doesn't last for 10, 20, 30 years, it's not sustainable. The use of hydraulic lime in the formulation acts as a, as a binder. It binds the particles of aggregate together. Um, it's, it's not where they're just drying together and forming a, a dried surface. It actually has a, a, a chemical binding process. Clay-only plasters have some nice qualities. They have a nice visual look but they're just very fragile. Um, that's the, that, I would say, is their, is their principal downfall. Um, they they're good, may be good for eco-houses and, and, and certain situations, but I don't believe that they are inherently suitable for commercial architecture. In front of me, I have four samples. I have clay plaster, clay plaster with a sealer, climb and climb with our soap sealer. And I'm going to do a water spot test on these four surfaces. The clay plaster has sucked the water straight into the surface and, and it softens almost immediately so that the plaster just has lost all of its integrity. With the sealer, you can see it is starting to penetrate through the sealer quite readily. And this will also have softened and is quite easily to remove the plaster. And it's effectively just turning into mud. On the climb, you can see on this sample that the water has soaked in. So it's soaked in and darkened the surface, but is still strong and durable. And with the addition of the soap sealer, you can see that the water has hardly penetrated the surface at all. We came up with the name, Climb, very early on. And it's obviously a, a pun on, on clay and lime, but it's, it's about climate. You know, this whole thing is about the, the man's impact on the climate and how we have to change. So we have to become more sustainable in our approach. And a, a natural material like climb, which has good longevity, is, is much kinder to the environment than using paint or, or, or various coatings that often are redone every two or three years. Um, it's all about sustainability and longevity. That's got to be the future.